So the 20th problem, an octahedron of side meshes 40 mm is resting on the ground with one of its triangular face on the ground with an edge perpendicular to VP. So we take the octahedron on the ground, the base side is given as 40 mm. So draw the top view of the octahedron. Top view of the octahedron in the side position is a square. Draw a 40 mm base side square. So this is the top view of the octahedron. We have A, B, C, D, O1 at the top and O2 at the bottom which is not visible. Now the base side is given as 40 mm. We have to complete the drive view. Project this line. O1 is on the ground. So therefore O1 dash. Draw O1 dash on XY line. Now take this 40 mm. At the same time try to get one across the corner through distance. For that you just turn this horizontal. Try to capture this position. So you will be getting a vertical line like this. So now with the O1 as a center and the base side 40 as radius you turn one arc. So this is 40 mm. This distance is 40 mm. Now capture the points of the of the return. So height is of time. So you get uh, this. In a similar way, do the take the same height and uh, make another arc at the top so that you will get the top point as well. So the final simple position of the octahedron is of time. So this is the simplest position of the octahedron. So A dash is visible, P dash is not visible. C dash is not visible, D dash is visible. Now in the next stage, put one triangular face on the ground. Here you have O, take OCD and put it on the ground. Put OCD on the ground. So therefore, the new point is, you can take this end as O1 dash, the other end as C1 dash, D1 dash. Now O1 dash, C1 dash is obtained. You have to find out A1 dash and D1 dash. So take this horizontal distance. Take this horizontal distance. From here make one arc with this horizontal distance. In a similar way, you can approach this A1 dash and B1 dash through O1 dash also. So this slant distance you take, from here you cut. So you will be getting this shape. So try to duplicate uh, the other shape and obtain the other O2 dash. That means this distance you take and you place it at the other end, you will get O2 dash. Dash. So now the octahedron is positioned in its new position. That is, one of its triangular face is on HP. Name the points of the octahedron. The point is A1 dash and B1 dash. A1 dash is visible, B1 dash is invisible. Now try to get the final view. Project this. We'll project this. 
projects the other end. Here also we can check the projection. So A horizontal and A vertical gives you the final A1. So this is your A1. B horizontal and B vertical gives you final B1. So final B1 is available here. C horizontal and C vertical gives you final C1. So this is final C1. D horizontal and D vertical gives you final D1. So this is final D1. O1 horizontal and O1 vertical gives you final O1. O2 horizontal and O2 vertical gives you final O2. Draw the extreme edges first. You are getting a hexagonal like shape. A hexagonal like shape is a time. Now you see the visibility. See here, this is your extreme corner, this is your extreme corner, everything else through this end is visible. Only this O C D O dash C1 dash is invisible, O dash D1 dash is invisible. How to connect this? You have an order for this. So connect A with B, B with C, C with B, D with A. So you have O1 at the top. So O1A is possible, O1B is possible, O1C, O1D and O1A. Similar way, O2 is also possible, O2A, O2B, O2C, O2D, O2A. Now find out ABCD. Here is your ABCD. A, B. A, B is uh, at the top, so it is visible. So you can make one dark line. A, B is dark. And uh, A, B is available. B, C. B, C is uh, available. It's an edge. You can leave it. Similarly, C, D. C, D is again a dark one. You can finish it. Again, D A, D A is edge, you can leave it. You have O1A, O1A, O1A is visible. So O1A is visible. You can make O1A this edge, you can leave it. Similarly, O2B, O2B is also visible. O2B is visible. So you can just connect this O2B as a dark line. O2B as a dark line. Similarly, O1A is also a dark one, so you can just make uh, this code a dark line. Then again, you have the O1C. O1C. O1C is fully invisible, so you can make O1C as dotted. So make O1C as dotted line. O1C as dotted line. Then O1D, once again O1D is also made dotted. O1D is also made dotted. So AB is there, BC is there, CD is also available. So this is the final shape of the octahedron where the triangular face is on HP. See the CD end is at the bottom, so it is completely invisible. So therefore, this line alone should be made dotted. Once again, that particular line CD is perpendicular to BP also. Why? Right? In the front view, you are getting CD as a point. So therefore, the octahedron is placed on the ground with one of its triangular faces, three points are available on the ground. At the same time, one end CD is parallel to HP and perpendicular to BP.